Hi, I'm AJ, and this is the Disguise of Black video. In Skies of Black, a band, future rock stars, but most of all friends. In the beginning of 2007, four musicians, AJ Ferreira, guitar and vocals, Brandon Schlichting on drums, Justin Mitchell with lead guitar, and Zach Schlichting on bass, all met in the basement in Cherryville, PA to create In Skies of Black. Little did they know that this band would forever change their lives. Before 2007, and before Justin entered the band, it was just AJ, Brandon, and Zach who originally started the band in 2006 with a former guitarist, Brian Williams, who was kicked out of the band for not practicing enough and only causing trouble. Before Justin entered the band, they played originals with a classic rock sort of tune. But when Justin entered the band, they turned their sound around to a more heavy metal sound. They all quickly adjusted to the new sound and wrote five new songs for a demo. Later that spring, they recorded those five songs and one cover song by the metal band Trivium. In Skies of Black landed a few shows at a local venue called Brendan Jerry's in the year of 2007. All seemed to be going well with In Skies of Black. They were writing material and planning some shows, when in May of 2007 they found out that Justin Mitchell betrayed the band by taking one of those songs, Descending, and creating a new band behind their backs. It was a Brandy's immediate decision to kick Justin out of the band, and everyone agreed with him that that was the best choice for betraying them. They stayed strong and just stayed a three-piece band for the summer of 2007. They decided to drop the heavy metal back and go back to the roots of classic rock and alternative rock. During the summer, they were privileged to play at a few parties in Pigros of friends and family. Things were, starting, were finally starting to look better for Brandon, AJ, and Zach. AJ was playing guitars and doing vocals, Brandon was doing drums and backup singing, and Zach was doing his thing playing bass guitar. Once the summer passed and a new school year started for them, they decided to look for another guitarist so that AJ could focus a little more on singing, which he found out he was actually pretty good at. At the same time, Brandon was also starting to sing more and took a liking to it. They had written two new songs, Skies Burn and Bullet With Your Name, and put them on their MySpace to put themselves out there. Once they said they wanted a new guitarist, a kid named Dan Artem found out about them and took a liking to them and learned all their songs that they had posted on their MySpace. They found out Dan was interested in joining the band, so they had him come to practice one weekend to try out. It turns out Dan was actually a phenomenal guitarist and could play most of the songs that they asked him to play. Dan was immediately accepted into the band and he started to learn all the songs that they knew and Dan and AJ started to write some new material. Soon after Dan joined the band, they got a show playing a Christmas show on December 23rd at Crocodile Rock in Allentown, PA. A few months passed without much happening with the band when they decided to find a frontman to sing all their songs. They received a message from a singer named Luke from Bethlehem who wanted to try out. He came over to practice one day and started to sing and scream and go nuts. It was then that they realized this is the guy that was meant to be their frontman. Luke had only a few weeks of practice because in the upcoming month, of March they had a big show at Croc Rock with a few national bands. Now that they knew that Luke was a good singer and a good stage man, they realized he only had one problem. He had horrible timing with all the songs that he sung, which led him to leaving the band. Once Luke left, they knew they'd be just fine. Just AJ and Brandon would have to clean up their singing. They started to write new songs, enough to record a new demo, which were six new songs. On August 2nd, 2008, Inskaza Black went to Brian Anthony Studios in Catasauqua, PA to record their second demo, or their EP that they call it. <laughs> the lineup there was AJ on guitar and vocals, Brandon as drum and vocals, Dan as lead guitar, and Zach as bass guitar. They finished their recording in about a month, and the new EP is being released in November 2008. It is titled A Murder in the Midnight Light. They were looking for a new drummer to replace Brandon, so Brandon could be the lead singers along with AJ, but it's not too easy to find a new drummer, so Brandon's just sticking to drumming and backup singing. In about mid-October, Standby Records contacted Inskaza Black about going to Cleveland, Ohio to record at one of their studios and for the president of Standby Records to listen to them. So, in January, they are going to Ohio to re-record their demo and possibly get signed by Standby Records. I didn't want to play an instrument. My dad made me, kind of. He put me I wanted to play trumpet. Um, my dad made me play drums. So for the last 12 years, I've been playing drums. Not being lazy is very hard. Yes. That's the most difficult obstacle to overcome. In the goal. three hours. We it spend varies. maybe, as a whole, usually like two hours, the whole band, but separately. Um, I play for about three we hours. We don't practice for two hours. For, with the band? Yeah. Two hours, yeah, we do. We go through our set and we're done. Give me the chance to hold you close. 